Joe here from the Hitting Performance Lab. Mr. Anthony, much better, much better, more consistent head position here. The only thing I can see right now is still a little segmented, but not as bad as when we first started. Let's start with the side view on the left. Now, head position, I think what's what's getting that head position at the bottom is you'll see right here, let's see, so you start okay because that the the butt's down. So we start in a good straight position with the spine and the head all in line, but then as you raise your butt, because you're that's what I was talking about segmenting. As you raise your butt, see how that head goes burnt. So we go into more of a here, here. Actually, let's let me get that out of there. So we'll go. So your spine's straight till here, and then the head goes burnt. You see that little break there? And I think that's just because we're raising the butt too soon. Instead of just all you got to think after you should, creating that torque, it should be second nature now with your legs. So all you should be thinking is trying to just push the ground away. So your whole body pushing pushing the ground away. So not not pushing your butt up first and then doing a, a stiff legged Romanian deadlift. That's causing you're bleeding some force there in that head because of that little curve where the head doesn't follow the spine. If anything, your head should drop a little bit. It should stay connected to the spine. If your butt does come up, you should be keeping that head in line. Otherwise, we need to get a little bit better at instead of segmenting in pieces. See how you kind of get there, and then, and then your legs are already straight, and you're doing almost a stiff legged deadlift there, versus pushing everything up together, pushing the ground away, pulling that weight up with your whole body together instead of in segments. This is a tough concept, tough concept to get, especially when we've been doing it this way, pushing our hips back. The hips stay back. We just we just pull the weight up together. Just if you think the cue pushing the ground away with your with your legs as you're creating that torque will really help get that concept. But other than that, I mean everything else, your head position at the top is much better. P positioning down when you come down, it's just that initial burn, that initial beginning part. And that's a big the start is a big important part of the deadlift because obviously <laughs> we're trying to get a bunch of weight moving and looks like I think you've added on here yeah it looks like you've got you had 225 we were working with but it looks like you got added a couple maybe fives or something ten you went up 10 pounds total or 20 pounds total so maybe you're at 235 or 245 now I don't know maybe I'm not seeing it right but that's the only that's the only thing that I see is just right at the bottom how's your back feel by the way when you stand up out of that <laughs> love that that feeling but yeah that's the only thing is at the bottom of that head just just goes burnt but from from the top to down to that bottom position that starting position everything looks good head looks great so good good work man way to work on that now from the front let's look at the front okay here I'm just looking at your torque the torque you're creating with your legs so we're doing pretty good still doing good with that now I don't know if you're uh, I mean that elbow pit here on that left side is still pointing in. I'm not sure if you're consciously taking your left hand, and if your right hand's the overhand one, then then it's the other. But you want to feel like you're breaking that bar in, in half. You're trying to bring, you're trying to break it, like you're trying to turn your hand out and turn that elbow pit to where it's facing the camera very important because we want to secure that shoulder because right now you have this elbow pit forward because your underhand grip is going to wind that shoulder joint up and make it stable now this one doesn't isn't stable because that elbow pits in so I want you to take this hand and feel like you're trying to break that bar like you're turning it out like you're trying to turn your thumb outwards so feel like you're you're trying to break that bar in half but other than that from the front it looks good it's really good. Let's go one more time. Short video today because you got. I mean, you're you're doing good, man. You're putting the work in. You're doing good with your with your work. Yeah, head position looks great. But like I said, you know, butt goes up, burnt, and then that head kind of falls out of alignment. And and the first part is always crucial because you're 
you're moving weight that's at a dead stop. The up and down move, once you actually get it moving up and down, it makes it a lot easier and that hip falls in line. But we got to make sure we, we put tension on the body in the right position or else we're going to, we're not going to be able to jump in our weight and, and we're going to hurt ourselves above all. But looking good, good work. And um, I, I think you got your protein. You should have your protein already. You should be taking at least two shakes right after your workout or two scoops, two scoops in your shake after your workout and just mixing it with water. Make sure you're getting your protein. If you're not getting enough protein throughout the day, we might talk about this on Saturday, you're not going to be jumping in your weight. You're going to feel tired. You should, be, you should be jumping, I mean, almost 20 pounds, especially with better, better form now, better technique. should be at least 20 pounds each session. Because if you're finishing all five reps here, you're you should be jumping at least 10, 10 to 20 pounds each each one. So in a week, you should be jumping 20 to 40 pounds in a week. So we got to get to 400 pounds. But if if the protein's the issue, we're not getting enough. Then we need to make sure we get that in. But other than that, man, good job, and I will see you in the next video.